welcome to Sarah. Hello. <laughs> Here we are inspecting my far away from home apiary. And it looks like there's been a tree down. So we have had a few storms go through here. Fortunately, the tree missed all the hives. Thank goodness. Goodness. So just at first glance, there's bees which is always helpful in an apiary. All right, we'll do the walk around. Or over in some cases. Interesting. Now, I haven't brought a smoker with me, so. Can't be going too far in. Oh, that's right, we wouldn't go into these hives. So this one's got ants across the top. I'm going in through a vent. Did you see all the birds? Like the birds and the bees today. So you can see here where I newspapered the two hives, the two supers together. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what's left of the newspaper all these months later. Looks like there's an ant trail. Yes. Too. Yeah. Ants are a problem. And they Yep, oh. going in there. Gotcha. Getting a free feed. So, oh, that's heavy. So that makes me hopeful that there's a lot of honey in there to get them through. Okay. And this hive, this is the one that started it all. This is my first hive. And they're doing very, very well, judging by numbers out the yeah, front. Happy, don't they? And they do look very happy. Oh, there's no ants going into that one. No. So that's all good news. Awesome. You're right, girls. It's okay. All right. So beautiful little spot. It's very secluded. Cocky was up there somewhere. I think that's one of the black and white cockies too. It was, yeah. You're too far away to see it, but you can see him up through the treetops. The camera won't pick that up, unfortunately, but you can hear it. He's walking away. It's well glued on. Is that a good sign? So we might not be able to get into it. <laughs> Sorry? I'm not just mumbling away to the camera. I heard the word snake. Oh no, no, no. I oh, said so they're getting snakey. Oh. <laughs> there is no Joe Blake. Debbie's having some success there by the look of it. She's done very well. A little bit. There are. You work your way along, breaking the seal that they make with the propolis. Rising nicely. There we go. Wow. Now that tells you. Wow. Do they have enough stores? So, and they're being pretty good considering we haven't smoked them. No smoke at all. So, so I'll just put that down there. That is a beautiful colour. A little bit dark. Uh, yeah. One more. Right. So, that's as far as we can go today because without anything to scrape that off, there's nothing we can do. 
but that gives me hope because if the smallest hive has got that much in the way of stores. Pretty impressive. So that is wonderful news and we'll come back down on a better day and we'll bring the hive and some smoke. I'm trying to pretend that they're not freaking me out. <laughs> in actual fact they are. If you just stop for a moment, just breathe yeah. and you'll notice they're not actually banging into your hive, into your suit. No, they're just buzzing around, yeah. They're actually more upset with the camera than they are with us. They're just going around us, but they do not like that camera. Oh, interesting. I don't know what it is, but my mobile phone, if that rings, they're most upset and they're not worried about you. You were an innocent bystander, but how many bees are flying around me? I'm the one who lifted the lid. That's not bad. That's right. So if you stop and think about it, I'm the threat, you're not, and they're not worrying you. There's not one bee around you now. No. Oh, I'll take it back, there's one. Not just one, but you know, I mean, but smoke in their home. That's right, and without smoke, that's what they're gonna do, is they're gonna go, oi, who are you, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I need to defend against you. Mm -hmm. So, putting your fear aside, which is easy to do when you step away, mm -hmm. look at that hive, they're not, any different to when we got here other than a couple of bees around the top. And they're just buzzing around us trying to work out who and what we are. That's right. So they're not really worried by us. Ooh, impressive. Yeah. And they've actually just left us alone. Yep. So we've stood here still. You know, the odd one. The okay. further we walk away, the less there will be because they have done what they wanted to do, which is chase us away. We're the threat. They want to chase us away. If we walk away, they will have done their job. Good girls. That was so exciting. <laughs> it was so much. Beekeeping with Deb. <laughs> uh, just a little, uh, just a little, little hive like that. Yep.